Hi there, your computer friend Connie here. Today I'm going to give you some mouse tips. Okay, and so the mouse tips I'm going to be talking about all have to do with this wheel here. So we're just going to talk about all the things that this mouse wheel can do. So I'm sure you already know you use the wheel, of course, move it so that you can scroll up and down on a website page or any document, spreadsheet, and so on, right? But what I'm going to show you is a few other tips beyond that. You can also press that mouse wheel down and it'll do special things for you depending on where you are. And you can use that mouse wheel by like moving it back and forth, um, back and forth. So we'll, so I'm going to go over all of these in my examples with you today. Okay. So hang up. Okay. So tip number one. So again, we're using this wheel on the mouse. So if you press down on that wheel, while you're um, say you're on a tab here, like on different website tabs I have showing at the top, if I press down on the wheel, that closes the tab for me. So that's kind of cool. I didn't have to go to the X. Uh, let me just show you that again. So again, if you watch my mouse as I'm on at one of the top tabs here, if I just click with the middle of the wheel, that closed the tab. Okay, so just a cool little shortcut. All right, I'm going to try this next example of what you can do with the mouse wheel, all right? Um, what we can do with it while I'm in uh, my mission Facebook page. So as you're in Facebook, you know, you're scrolling up and down and looking at stuff, right? Well, rather than using the scroll wheel to do that, you can just use your mouse as a whole. Like you can just move the mouse, so move the mouse and it will scroll for you. And how you activate that is um, you go to a blank area of that website, or in this case of Facebook, I'm just kind of looking at this blank area on the right. And if I click once, just notice right now, first of all, uh, my mouse is like that single arrow, that white arrow. So if I just keep it still, single white arrow. And now if I click again, look at how my mouse has changed. So that's the scroll mouse. So when you see that scroll mouse, that means you're on scroll mode. Um, so I'm just going to move my mouse. And as I move my mouse, it scrolls. I do not need to use the scroll wheel. So some of you might have had this happen accidentally. And I know I've seen it before. I'm like, what is this? What is it doing? <laughs> and as you can see with my Facebook, it's trying to catch up to me. It's like, oh, you went so far so, um, so quickly. Um, so if you see it by accident and you're like, I don't want that, turn it off. Um, then all you need to do is click again somewhere, even just a left click or a click anywhere using your mouse and it gets rid of that little icon. That's the scroll icon. So that's a cool little tip for you. All right. What else can this mouse wheel do? So another thing this mouse wheel can do is, as I said, if you move it with your finger left or right, so you're kind of not pressing down on it, you're just kind of moving it over one way or the other. When you're in a um, website that, like I am, I've got um, four different website pages open. So if I just show you, that's one page, that's a different website, different one and a different one. So I've got my tabs, my tabs in my browser, I've got more than one. If I use the arrow, if I move that little mouse wheel over um, and say move it to the right, then watch what happens to these tabs. So I moved it to the right. So I went this way with the mouse wheel and it closed that tab. If I do that again, close that tab. So just another way of closing the tab. So I know it's, again, maybe you're not, so you're thinking, well, why, why would I do that, Connie, when I can just hit the X? You know, it's just another method, right? And sometimes it's handy to know these things because maybe you're doing it accidentally and you're like, how come I closed the tab on me? What happened? So that's what it's doing. So I was moving that mouse wheel to the right. Now, if I go to the other side of the mouse wheel and move it to the left, what I get is a menu and it's like the right click menu. So Right. Again, <laughs> you, if you right click, you get the same menu, but if you wanted to use the wheel instead, then this is what happens. So sometimes it's just nice to know these things because, um, you now know that that's the other way of doing it, or now you know why that happened by accident. So that's why sometimes it's worthwhile showing you these things, to, not because you have to do every little trick in the book, but because things happen autom ac accidentally and you're like, where did that come from? So now, you know, the wheel has a lot of different purposes. That mouse wheel is pretty important. It's got a lot of functions. 
All right, one more example for you of um, using the, the, the mouse wheel. And this one is actually gonna be in conjunction with using your keyboard. So I want you to hold, find your control key on your keyboard and just hold it down. And when you hold down the control key and then you use your mouse, it'll zoom out if you move your mouse wheel down. If you move your mouse wheel up, it'll zoom in. So let's say, I'm just gonna scroll down a bit here. See, I'm trying to read this stuff over here. Then if I scroll up with the mouse wheel while I'm holding the control key, it zooms in. So that's kind of cool. Zoom in or zoom out with the mouse wheel when you hold the control key in conjunction with it. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that. Some cool little mouse tips for you. Hopefully makes you uh, that much faster on your computer and uh, at least knowing what's going on, going wrong when something happens that you don't expect. All right, signing off. Thank you. Bye-bye.